Welcome to The Phoenix Rising, a podcast that brings you a combination of astrology, energy healing, intuitive coaching, and readings, all with a purpose to help you connect to your intuition, learn how to transform your life, and regain your healing power. I am your host, Laura Teal. Welcome to The Phoenix Rising. Thank you for accompanying me. I'm Laura Teal, intuitive coach and energy healer. This is season four, episode 18. I am bringing you a reading for earth signs. So if you are a Taurus, you are Virgo, or you are a Capricorn, this reading is for you for the month of July. We are uh, going to pull out a couple of cards. Also check out what's the general energy for this month. At in the end, I'm giving you an affirmation or a mantra that you can work on for this month as well. So let's see what is the general energy for Earth signs. Ooh, caring connections. Ah, very appropriate uh, for all of you, especially for Taurus um, that are really, really uh, under the influence of Venus. Uh, caring connections. Uh, you will be, um, you're not only interested in, in developing caring connections, but you'll also be creating this new connection with people that are, you know, kind of a kindred spirit, people that, y you know, you have that attraction, that connection. Um, Energy-wise, you are vibrating in the same um, in the same wavelength, in the same frequency. Um, so romance, just open the door for a romance. You never know when it can happen. Just let yourself be guided. Let yourself be surprised by the universe. So caring connections. This is a month of creating those um, new. This is this can be also romance or friendship, but in the end, it's people really that you feel very comfortable with. So for the reading, let's see where are you right now. What is the challenge for this month of July? What is the recommendation? And what's the outcome? All right, so you are in um you're mentally ready um earth sign to create a change either it can be leaving something behind it can be something on your own it can be a habit it can be um um a person, a toxic relationship, or a toxic job, or a toxic family member. Um, it can also be that part of yourself that is kind of a victim. And you are conscious right now and you're ready to jump on that boat of, I'm leaving this behind. I don't know where this boat is taking me. I'm not 100% sure, but I am packing my bags. I actually I already packed my bags and uh, I'm going on here. And there's a lot of, this is a painful decision. And you, you usually, you hang on to things a lot, earth signs, because as that earth pulls you. Your roots pull you, pulls you. Your habits pull you to stay the same. But right now you know that if you stay the same, it's going to be more painful than if you jump on that boat and you create that change. So you're ready. The challenge is taking the step. Because one thing is saying, okay, I'm going to do it. I pack my bags and I'm leaving. 
than actually open that door and leaving. And going at a at a steady pace and it's it's going on a steady pace is not hard for you because you have a lot of patience, but it's that's probably one of the reasons why you have stayed in that situation for such a long time because you're so patient and you're you're hoping all the time for okay, well, this will change. I just need to hang on to it a little bit longer. And this will change and this will change, but that change never comes. Because if we are expecting that change to come from outside of us, from someone else, we might wait there forever. The power to change whatever situation we are in, it's within us. Because we are the ones who can say, you know what, F this, I am doing this. But taking that step and actually taking action, it's it's quite a challenge for you. But remember that once you take that action, it's like you're going to find your your reason. You're going to find a deeper reason to move, keep moving forward. You're going to be more empowered. Because when you take that step, you start walking your own path instead of somebody else's. Because right now, you have been you have not been walking your own path 100%. And when you jump on that boat and you get out, of, you decide to take the step to go on that boat and you actually leave and you get out of that boat and you, you continue walking your path is very powerful. And this is actually the path you're meant to walk. You will be driven by your purpose. You will be driven by your own soul's path what your soul wants to, wants to do. And this requires courage. So you can do this. You can do this. Um, the recommendation is that you do this. Take that step. You're getting another um, card that is very much related to, to masculine, to um, earth, to creating, to developing a foundation with the emperor. So the first card that tells you to recommend, that recommends, you know, you're here now, you need to create that change. It's the six of swords. And the challenge is to take the step, which is the knight of pentacles. And then the recommendation is the emperor. Um, create, create a solid foundation for your future. Knowing where you are, going more into action into doing and embracing that masculine energy because earth science is it's very has a lot of feminine energy earth is a feminine element and your the recommendation is here we take action we need to do we need to be proactive and we need to do this is the emperor and once you do the outcome is this six of cups you will have that um, peace. You will reconnect with people from the past. You will reconnect with that um, inner child because probably that step that you need to take of walking your own path, it's something that you have always desired to do, even when you were a little kid. So there's a big change, a big transformation that is asking, that is being asked of you. Um, at a soul level, this will reconnect you to your roots, but also to you really or who you really are, to your innocence. Innocence. Six of Cups, and let's see what's the affirmation or the mantra that you can be working on for the month of July. Embracing the future, beautiful. Because when you go on that path, you are embracing the future. You are connecting to your future. You are creating now the foundation that is going to sustain your future. Because that's what the emperor asks for. Is we create the foundation. What is what we need to do to have a future that is sustainable and that is in alignment and that is solid. So embracing the future, you can repeat this mantra. I step 
into the future with an open heart. So that is the reading for the month of July uh, for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. If you want to get a uh, one-on-one, -on -one, a personal reading with me, visit lauratia.com. Uh, also, again, remember to go check out the free masterclass, How uh, to Awaken Your Intuitive and Healing Abilities, sacredtemple.ca. The link is attached to this, to the description of this episode. If you want to book that reading, if you want to have more information about uh, my classes and the Intuitive Healer training that is coming up starting on July 30th, let me know. SacredTemple.ca, LauraT.com, get in touch with me. Thank you and see you again very soon. Bye.